Hello students, in this video, we will be discussing about your periodontal ligament. Periodontal ligament is the core element of your periodontium, right? So, this periodontal ligament, even though it is an important structure, for your exam, this periodontal ligament has a reduced chance of coming as a long essay, right? You will be mostly getting the short essay or the short notes from periodontal ligaments. That is, the most frequently asked questions will be about the fibers will be about the fibers of periodontal ligaments number one second question that can come from periodontal ligaments will be about the functions will be about the functions of periodontal ligaments right these two are the two headings that you have to concentrate from periodontal ligaments starting with periodontal ligaments it is composed of a complex vascular and highly cellular connective tissue complex vascular meaning it has blood supply on its own Highly cellular, it has different cells, highly cellular, rich in cells. A connective tissue, it is a connective tissue that surrounds the tooth root and connects it to the inner wall of the alveolar bone. I repeat, if you have a root like this, right, and if you have the alveolar bone which is surrounding the root, periodontal ligament is the tissue which connects the root or the cementum to the bone. It connects the root with the bone that is your periodontal ligament it is a complex vascular and highly cellular connective tissue connecting the root to the inner wall of the alveolar bone it is also known by various other terminologies like periodontal membrane desmodont alveolodental ligaments peri cementum surrounding the cementum dental periosteum and gomphosis all these are other names for the periodontal ligaments right if you look at an x-ray, all of you would have seen an IOPR. So, under an IOPAR, the cementum is there. Immediately adjacent to the cementum, you see a radiolucent space. You see a radiolucent space. This radiolucent space is referred to as periodontal ligament space. It is referred to as periodontal ligament space. The width of this periodontal ligament space, it varies from 0.15 to 0.38 millimeters on an average, right? And the average value will be 0.2 millimeters. The width of periodontal ligament space varies between 0.15 to 0.38 millimeters with an average width of 0.2 millimeters, but it is not constant. The width of your periodontal ligament space is not constant. It varies across the different regions. That is, this periodontal ligament is thinnest in the middle third of the root. It is thinnest in the middle third of the root. Let's say I draw my root like this. The root can be divided into a coronal third, a middle third and an apical third. This periodontal ligament space, let's say it is thick here. It becomes very thin in the middle third like this and again becomes thick as you go apically. As you go apically, it is same on both sides. Right? Thick coronally and thin towards the middle and again thick towards the apical region. Right? This appearance, this appearance of the periodontal ligament is called as the hourglass shape. This appearance is called as hourglass shaped. You know, it is commonly asked in your viva question. What is the shape of the periodontal ligament? Hourglass in shape, right? And the reason that why it is thin in the middle third is that this middle third forms the axis or fulcrum of rotation. In order to facilitate the rotation of the tooth, it is thinnest at the middle third, right? This periodontal ligament, mainly it comprises of fibers, cells and ground substance. As the definition goes, it is highly cellular, right? So, it has cells, it has fibers which attach the cementum to the bone and everything, the cells and the fibers are embedded in a ground substance, okay? You can see, a, you can imagine to be a gel-like matrix over which you have cells and fibers. The periodontal ligament fibers can be divided mainly into different fiber groups. It can be divided mainly into different fiber groups of which the principal fiber group is the most frequently discussed or explained one. It is also the one that will be asked in your short essay. The principal group of fibers are the main fibers of the periodontal ligament which you have to know and in turn these principal group of fibers has been classified into six groups. Principal fibers has been classified into six subtypes. 
that is you have firstly learned the names in this particular order right from the coronal to the apical you have transeptal alveolar crystal group horizontal group oblique group apical group and the interradicular group right from the coronal portion right if you have a look at this diagram and this diagram should be drawn whenever you get a question on periodontal ligaments you have to draw this diagram this is the diagram that is demonstrating the principal fiber groups of periodontal ligaments that is you have the transeptal group of fibers that is running over here like this you have the transeptal group of fibers which run from cementum of one tooth to cementum of the other tooth this transeptal fiber it is a peculiar group of fiber because as the definition of periodontal ligament goes it is a complex vascular and highly cellular connective tissue that connects the root cementum to the alveolar bone that connects the root cementum to the alveolar bone this transeptal fiber is an exception to that definition because it doesn't connect the root to the bone it doesn't connect the root to the bone rather it connects one root to the root of the adjacent tooth that is why this transeptal fibers has been classified this has been classified both as a gingival fiber and a periodontal ligament fiber both as a gingival fiber and as a periodontal ligament fiber the reason you should know right the next group of fiber right so when you draw this diagram kindly do not make a mistake when you are labeling it that is why the order of these fibers are important you have the alveolar crystal group of fibers which run from the cementum to the alveolar crest start at the root and end at the alveolar crest then you have horizontal fibers which run horizontally parallelly between the root and the bone then you have oblique group of fibers which has a direction opposite from that of the alveolar crest these fibers start from the bone and end in the root it has an opposite direction and lastly you have the apical group of fibers which are present in the root apex near the apical foramen and you have a next group of fibers called as interradicular group which are present which are present only in multi rooted teeth only in multi rooted teeth that is it is present in the furcation region present in the furcation region right so the labeling of this diagram transeptal alveolar crystal group then you have which one horizontal group then the oblique group then apical and then lastly the interradicular only if it is a multi root this apical group of fibers is present only when the root is complete in incompletely formed roots you do not have apical group of fibers the oblique group of fibers are the fibers which are present in maximum quantity which resist the maximum occlusal force it is the oblique group of fibers in addition to fibers your periodontal ligament i told you it is rich in cells even the definition says it is highly cellular that is the periodontal ligament has both the synthetic cells as well as the resorptive cells it has cells that form the tissues it also has cells that resorb the tissues it has all the cells it has progenitor cells or the stem cells which if harvested can be used for regeneration for regrowing of the periodontium it also has epithelial cell rests of malazes which are the cellular remains which are the cellular remains of hertwig's epithelial root sheath which are the cellular remnants of the hertwig's epithelial root sheath you know this this hertwig's epithelial root sheath is the layer which forms the cementum so when this hertwig's epithelial root sheath breaks down during root formation a little portion of these cells are retained or persist within the periodontal ligament which are referred to as cell rests of malazes right and then you have the connective tissue cells mainly the fibroblasts and you have other cells of the immune system cells of the immune system right mainly it is cells of the immune system right so it is a highly cellular tissue so i told you it has both synthetic cells which form the uh, tissues it also has resorptive cells with degrade or eat away the tissues the synthetic cells comprises of the osteoblasts fibroblasts and cementoblasts 
that is osteoblasts which form the bone you have cementoblasts which form the cementum you also have fibroblasts which produce collagen in a broader sense the periodontal ligament has all the cells to regain to regrow the entire periodontium it has osteoblasts which form the alveolar bone cementoblasts to form the cementum and fibroblasts to form the collagen fibers of the periodontal ligaments